AJ Zarmi, a group effort to help injured Bishop Fian hockey player AJ Quetta is getting an assist from some local college students. These students are using a class assignment to design and sell a product that will benefit AJ's recovery. ABC6 News reporter Brittany Comack spoke to students about how they hope to help. The Babs and college students creating a bracelet to help with stress and anxiety, making sure that half of the proceeds go to the Quetta family. According to the latest update from AJ's Army, Bishop Feehan hockey player AJ Quetta continues to improve while recovering at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta. He's working his way off of a ventilator and spending lots of time in the gym. His father posting this photo today. It's a tough, tough road on his way to recovery, and uh, he needs all the support he can get. If you have kids, you'll understand the pain that's involved with this. Justin Clark is a friend of Quetta's and also a student at Babson College. He and eight classmates started a business as an assignment, selling a bracelet called the Worry Watcher. It's aimed at reducing stress and anxiety using a fidget attachment. You have to come up with a business um, that is in line with um, helping or like solving a problem. The Worry Watcher is also helping solve another problem. 50% of the proceeds help AJ and the cost of his recovery from a spinal cord injury he got after slamming head first into the boards during a game in January. Not only, you know, a stylish, cool bracelet, but I mean, it's a great and easy way to help out AJ. Uh, he's an awesome kid, one of the funniest kids you'll meet. The students say they've been getting A's on what they've submitted so far, but that either way, they're just happy they can help the Quetas in whatever way they can. When you hear the news about like a close friend like that, the first thing you think of is, what can I do to help you? The students tell me they've had a big response from the community over the last six weeks selling the Worry Watcher, though they're not yet allowed to say how much they've sold until the project is complete. The last day to purchase the bracelet is this Thursday. In Providence, Brittany Comack, ABC6 News. Brittany, thank you. According to the latest update from AJ's father, AJ is slated to head to a spinal cord injury therapy facility in Canton, Massachusetts between May and July, and then will likely go into treatment program in Miami this summer.